Hello everybody, welcome to OCHD and welcome to another Jumputi Heroes news video. Today we're talking about the upcoming event, which is a little bit confusing because on the roadmap it does say Golden Week. Golden Week, there is something Golden Week related coming, but it's a little bit unclear what that is. And it does seem that the actual next event coming would not be Golden Week, but rather the 1500 days celebration which is it seems to be like a whole event so uh, things are a little bit unclear right now but there is some information i felt like i wanted to talk about and possibly speculate on prior to the data download i mean the data download should be tonight and even that is a little bit confusing for reasons we will get into as we go through the news um to start things off well let, let's just start off with the characters that have been announced the characters that have been announced uh are visa and Huse. I, I realize i've been saying it wrong this whole time i've been calling him Huse, but i guess i'd only ever seen it written in the manga i didn't seen Huse, i guess um their sprites are very nice, I, I must say, especially Hyusu, I like it. Um, and alongside them being introduced, it, it just says they're new characters, it doesn't say exactly what they're going to be. So so we don't know, could be Gacha, could be... Well, well probably a Gacha or event, normally if it's a limited it does say, but um, regardless. Alongside with them being announced, we get two little bits of information. Number one is that this event, the 1500 day celebration, will start on the 1st of May. So, so my hero actually ends on like the 29th of April. So, there's a few dead days before this event starts. But that actually means that this event starts after Golden Week would already be underway. Which is a bit strange, because Golden Week is written down on the roadmap as an actual event, and yet, this. It, it's strange. It is strange. We also have a hint at what this event is. And it says, you know, 1500 days commemorative festival, which is what the... the I don't know if you can see my cursor. I don't think you can. Um... 1500 days commemorative festival and then it says this it says Jumputi dungeon don't know what that means as far as i can recollect i don't remember them ever using that terminology don't don't know what it means but we do have a theme and the theme is masters and disciples or teachers and students or however you want to look at it and of course the two characters we have here they do fit the theme if you go back and and look at the manga um you can see scenes of visa teaching Husei. uh so that gives us something to work with in terms of what we might be able to expect from this upcoming event um we have got, I believe it's in this section here, a 1500 days campaign during which a number of events will return. And these events will have special missions related to them that will allow you to get five star ticket fragments. And a lot of these events that are returning half stamina. So, uh, so if you've missed out on these events before, an opportunity to max these characters out. And it specifically says... Where is it? From series related to this upcoming event, the 1500 day celebration. So we know that they are specifically returning events that those series will play some part in the 1500 days celebration. So what are they returning? Okay, Kimitsu no Yaiba. I'm sorry guys, I did warn you. I did warn you, and sure enough, Kimitsu no Yaiba is returning. Um, but Jojo, 
Jojo is interesting. And what I find sort of interesting is, uh, obviously you've got a Golden Wind banner here, but there are actually other events down here from other parts. Um, and then we have Shokugeki no Soma and World Trigger. Now, obviously World Trigger, we've had an announcement now and we know. Those other three we don't. And there is actually one more, if we scroll down, Gintama. So Gintama and Jojo, some part of Jojo, it is unclear which part. Um, and Kimetsu no Yaiba and Shokugeki no Soma. Those series all seemingly getting content. Assuming all each of those series got two characters, that's a 10 unit event. So that's pretty good. You know, we're, we're getting kind of used to these eight unit events. 10 units, pretty good. It is like a three week event, but I guess, it's, I, don't, I don't know. It, it, it's still decent. It's still, it's still good. Um, and okay, so we asked the question, who fits for each series in terms of Master and Disciple? Uh, for Demon Slayer, first one that comes to my head is Urokudaki. I always say it wrong. Urokudaki. Um, Sandro's teacher. And also the teacher of Sabito and Giyu. So maybe we'll see him. Um, but then at this point, it, I don't... What would he counter? What could he possibly counter? What, what could possibly drop? I, I assume he would only be a standard gacha as well. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. But that also raises another point. We we got v Visa and Hyusu teased. Which one would be gacha? Because most would assume that Hyusu would be gacha because he's much more integral to the story. But if he's the gacha, how is it going to work? Are all of the students going to be gacha? Are all the teachers going to be gacha? Um, it's hard to say, but if all the students are gacha, then who would it be from Kimetsu no Yaiba? That doesn't make any sense. So I don't know, actually, with Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'm trying to think if there's any others where that makes sense. Like, technically, Himejima does... Well, I mean, any of the pillars could technically be classed as teachers in some way, shape, or form, but it's tricky. I don't really know. And I was kind of hoping that the, the reprints themselves would give us some kind of idea, but they just seem to be all over the place. I can't see anything, really. So I don't know from Kim and Sonny Over. If you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, from Jojo... There's a few, but I think the most logical pairing would be the dual unit of Caesar and Joseph to counter Lisa Lisa. Um, and that would probably be a limited, because that's basically the only limited you could get out of part two at this point. So that's interesting, because we haven't touched part two in a long time, but also because it is Golden Week... And it'd be kind of weird not to get Giorno for Golden Week, but, I mean, we've said that before, I guess. Uh, and then Shokugeki no Soma, I, I really think it's it's going to be Shinomiya. It could be, like, Soma's dad. To be honest, so many of the, te like, the older students and, and stuff like that play the role of, like, some kind of teacher to somebody in the show. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but I think... It might be an opportunity for us to get an updated Soma sprite. And then whether or not that Soma would be Gacha or whether he'll be free to play, this is what we're a little bit unclear on. But, um, I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. And from Gintama, I'm I'm hearing from the Gintama fans. Bear in mind, I've, I've not... I, I've had a crack at Gintama, but I'm not a, an avid fan by any means. Um, I've heard that this could potentially be uh, a character that has been sort of uh, I don't know I think a lot of Gintama fans thought that if Gintama was going to get a Muso it would be Shoyo and Shoyo if, if we're doing Masters and Disciples I have been informed that Shoyo is most likely what we would see from Gintama 
So, I don't really know what to think about that. Bear in mind, I think like we've kind of got over this in the past. In terms of Musos, it kind of needs to be the most ridiculous character in the series in terms of power, in terms of importance, in terms of all kinds of things. And I just don't think every big series is going to have one. Like, I don't think Bleach is going to get one. I don't know how they would make one work for Jojo. And like we had mentioned before, maybe it'd be Gold Experience Requiem, but I, I just don't think they're going to do one for Jojo. One thing that they might be cool that they could try with Jojo is if they had like Jonathan, but it was like... Like, I don't know if you've ever... like I think it's like opening one of Jojo, where it shows like all the different Jojos after Jonathan, before it shows him. Like if it was like a, the power of the generations or something. But I think realistically, the, the, whatever they do, it will be a stretch with JoJo. Um, but yeah, so for, from from what I understand, Shoyo is the teacher of uh, Gintaki, uh, Takasugi, and uh, Katsura. So, possibly some kind of dual unit... Between between those three, I, I assume Gintaki and Katsura, or possibly Gintaki and Takasugi. I'm not that far in the story. Um, against him, or maybe vice versa. Maybe he'll be delimited. I don't know. But an interesting thought, nonetheless. And then that is that is what we know. So so at that point, we'd be looking at about ten units, maybe nine units. Maybe Kimetsu no Yaiba doesn't get. Maybe maybe like they put. Uh, a teacher unit on the gacha and they give it like a legend summon or something because there's not necessarily that many options from Gintama I wouldn't say no, sorry from Kimis and Ayaba. Um but that isn't all because we also have Golden Week from the 28th of April and specifically there is a Golden Week campaign plan now this is where the data download becomes interesting they specifically put the data download on the 27th, the day before Golden Week started. But theoretically, if it was just a campaign for us to receive goodies and stuff, there is no reason they would have held that back. In, in my mind, like many times before they've had like login bonuses and campaigns and stuff, and they've just left that in the previous data download rather than doing a separate one later. Um, because if you don't need to add characters, you might as well just let me know what's happening in the campaigns and stuff and put that in the data and I'll, and that'll be shared around online and whatever, but it doesn't tell people that much about upcoming characters and stuff. So that's good. But by requiring a data download on the 28th, anything that hadn't been announced Regarding the event that is starting on the 1st of May, the 1500 days celebration, anything that hadn't been announced at that point will be revealed in the data download. So if you were trying to avoid leaks, that's not how you would do it. You would leave the data download until Friday the 29th uh, because they probably wouldn't want to do it on the weekend. They normally try and avoid it if they can. You would leave that until the 29th and then by that point you would have announced most of the stuff anyway they haven't done that which makes me suspicious it makes me think that maybe for golden week there's a little bit more to it now what they've announced so far is you know gold man is coming to jump putty to give some rewards for golden week and you can see that this is a lot more wordy than their their things normally are like, normally there's more images, and normally it's it's a bit less all over the place. I mean, even if you can't read Japanese, even if you run this through Google Translate, it seems like they're trying to say something but not say it. I don't know. Um, but it's like, oh, you know, Gold Man, because it's gold and weak, and it's Gold Man, right? And then they, they talk about the rewards. But it specifically says, from the 28th of April... An event will be held. More information to follow. Which we assume will come tomorrow. Because that's the last day before Golden Week starts. The 28th. Um, now, or, or before the Golden Week event. 
quote unquote, will start. Now, this, this is confusing. I don't know what this means. I don't know why Golden Week is on the roadmap if it's not the main event or main campaign. I, I'm a little bit, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm optimistic. I don't want to say I think that this is going to be some super special event and it's going to have tons of characters as like a, basically atonement for how bad of a, a month April ended up being in terms of content. But I do like to think that this is going to at least bring something that is, that has not been announced and is a bit unconventional compared to normal events. What it will be exactly, I don't know, but there's, I have some suspicions and I think this campaign is interesting. Now, don't get me wrong, they've definitely done stuff before where they've used a character. Say, for example, you've got Goldman here. They've done stuff in the past with like Freezer or um, they did one with Enel not that long ago, Descent of the Gods, Enel. And then they release nothing related to that character except maybe like a unity battle or something. But is there hope for some Kanika Man content? Is there hope for an actual Golden Week campaign? And, you know, with the JoJo stuff, maybe they do release some JoJo Part 1 or JoJo Part 2. But maybe they also release some Golden Wind because it's Golden Week. I, I'm really interested to see this data download. I feel like the only reason they would do the data download early was if Golden Week was also adding a new character, at least one new character. So, very interested. And as for if it is Can You Command, what kind of content it could be, kind of hard to say, but they've kind of been broadening their horizons a little bit in terms of content. I would never completely rule out the idea that we could get the sequel, Kanika Man Nisei, sometimes known as Ultimate Muscle. And the only reason I say that is because we've had content from the magazine that that appears in, which is Shueisha's Weekly Playboy, <laughs> which that's where the Kanika Man continuation stuff is published. We've had some of that content in the game already. Gold Man is an, is an example of that. And we have now started adding spin-offs we've got this nisekoi spin-off coming it was never published in jump it is not a named part of the nisekoi story even though it uses the same characters so it's its own thing so i don't see any reason why they couldn't add stuff from other properties in the same way which Kanika Man Nise would be sort of like that. It's not really a spin-off as much as it is a sequel, but, it, you know, same idea. And I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's an interesting conversation to be had. I guess we'll know more later. I'm not saying I think Kanika Man Nise is going to be added, but it's just fun to speculate, I guess. And I, I don't know what Gold, Golden Week is going to bring. This is the first time I've been a little bit excited for Jump Poot in a while. Honestly, all of April, I was just kind of fed up. But I'm a little bit excited right now. But they have left everything like event announcements and all that stuff to the last minute. And, you know, so many times they've dropped the ball in the, in the past, well, this year. So many times they've dropped the ball. So I don't want to expect too much, but I do have a feeling that May at least could be like a like a jam-packed month just to make up for april and then for, once we move on from may maybe it'll be back to normal but this could explain why in I've, i don't know if it's next month let me check on the on the roadmap on the roadmap in june there seems to be Kotekyo hitman reborn feature festival prince of tennis feature festival and whatever the June Brides event is supposed to be. And that seems to be three separate events, but there's no way they're going to be able to fit three separate events in June without being like a, a super packed month. So the question is, is this this whole the Jumpooty Dungeon thing and Golden Week being its own separate special event campaign thing, is there something we're missing, something they haven't introduced yet? 
maybe a new way to play the game, maybe a new way to implement events. All things to consider, all things I'm sure we will know more about around this time tomorrow. But um, and until then, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you when we know more. Goodbye.